Welcome again to Joe Stunner Boxing. Um, yesterday, uh, yesterday being uh, July the 7th, uh, 2023, over in Mexico, Diego Pacheco stopped uh, Manuel uh, Galejos in four rounds and it was a very impressive performance from the undefeated Pacheco who's now 19 wins, 16 KOs, no draws, no defeats. In fact, um, Galejos came in with uh, you know, a similar, similar kind of... Uh, you know, record, I guess you'd say. He had 19 wins with 16 defeats, same as uh, Pacheco now has. But he had he had a defeat on his record, and that was um, in an eight-rounder. He lost in 2020 to a guy called Ozil Santoyo. Um, unanimous decision loss. Since then, he's won two. Um, got a draw with undefeated Richard uh, Van Chilin, I think the guy's name is. Uh, that was a majority draw, but he hasn't been active. And the draw with um, Van, Van, Sil, Van Chilin or Van Sillin was uh, in March, and that was that was after you know about eighteen months out, 16, 18 months out. And yeah, I don't think it really showed because I think um, Galejos came in with a lot of ambition, but Pacheco um, they had very similar style, very similar shapes, you know, similar similar heights this was at super middle by the way pacheco's six foot four and um uh, galejos himself was six foot three um <coughs> and to be honest with you there weren't an ounce of fat on either of them as you can imagine the difference was that pacheco clearly had a bit more of everything far more imagination in his punches firing um a lot of good jabs they're both orthodox fighters um Galejos, um, his idea was I'm going to get close and I'm going to bang into the body. I mean, he couldn't, he's six foot three at, at super middle, that's very tall, but he was even an inch smaller now than Pacheco. But his idea was I'm going to get close and I'm going to bang you, I'm going to, you know, bang to the body of the arms, I'm going to maybe, you know, fire some head punches. And he was trying to do that, but Pacheco called himself um, uh, a distance power puncher I think the commentator said and it kind of showed because his accuracy and his power from from length was really good he wasn't really I suppose he was back some boxing on the back foot but it wasn't like he was running or moving or 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 being overly cautious not at all he was he was being very very productive um, firing um, like I say long-range punches um, on the occasions in the first round I thought Pacheco won easily there was one sort of uh, one-two combination from distance which really caught Galejos and had him in, not in trouble, but it certainly got his attention. It had him rock back a bit. But he kept moving forward. In the second round, he did get Pacheco on the on the ropes and started banging away. But I, I remember thinking he, he's not firing enough punches, um, even if he is catching the... Only catching the elbows or the biceps. I mean, you've got to you've got to be you've got to really force Pacheco to slow down. Whether it's giving him heavy arms with the bicep punches or making him more flat-footed with the body punches. And Pacheco's defense was pretty good. It was pretty good. Well, second round, close-ish. You could suppose give it to Kalejos, but in the third round, back comes Pacheco and he starts firing not only one or two of his own body punches, straight punches to the to the pit of the stomach or the solar plexus um, but he's also uh, he's, he's found his rhythm and he's again not running but keeping the disc controlling the distance and firing lovely fluid punches and he's picking his punches as well there's there's no nothing being wasted here Galejos at distance wasn't really firing anything he was he was tr desperately coming forward trying to get close and then then letting his punches go but Whilst it was at distance, only Pacheco was winning this fight. It was he was only uh, he was the only one who was ever going to win this fight? And in the fourth round, it happened. More body punches from Pacheco, and suddenly Galejos looked winded, and he looked in quite a quite a sort of um not not as if he was unraveling, but he looked like he he needed a breather. In fact, he when he did get in close, he grabbed and held. Um, Pacheco could obviously smell smell the you know the distress um, started banging away, great uppercut from Pacheco in the fourth, I think it was. Um, more body punches and down went Galeos from a body punch. Galeos got up, um, but Ian Wright was on the wall and Pacheco tore after him. Galeos moved backwards. He was never going to win anything going backwards. Didn't grab an old, got stuck to the ropes. Um, Pacheco un, un, just unloaded randomly, I mean, with all sorts of punches. Most of them were landing and the referee jumped in and stopped the fight and it was a good stoppage, actually, deservedly so. 
So the winner is uh, Diego Pacheco, and he looked the part. He looked the part. I mean, Galejos is 26, which is not old by any means. This is only his second defeat. Um, but Pacheco is only 22, and this has got to put him right up there with the best, um, the best prospects in in world boxing. Very, very impressive the way he went about his business. Wise beyond his years. I'd like to see him fire a few more punches, maybe, but. Let's not get too picky. He did did the job in hand against a pretty good opponent and a guy who was up for it and came to win. So plenty to admire in Pacheco's performance and plenty to look forward to him from forward to from him. I think he's a very good prospect and possible world champ, super medal, next generation maybe. But yeah, there's no hurry. Let him do his thing. So did you see the fight? It was on DAZN um, over in Mexico. It headlined a uh, Golden Boy card. Let me know what you think. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. Hit the like button as always. You help us out greatly and spread the word about Joe Stunner Boxing. Thanks for your time as always. Bye for now.